Hey guys, so I'm bringing you a replay from the new format. Um, this time I'm gonna be playing this deck. Uh, it's not as good as the old Sekis, uh variant with Snow, but sadly right now the Sekis variant cannot uh, grind at all. Like if it if if it tries to OTK and it gets stopped, like you just auto lose. So I decided to play this one, which is uh, I think a little more versatile. Basically, if you if you're not able to OTK, you're like well. You know, I can get Berdish, Beatrice, set three fog blades, pass, you know, something along those lines. So it's uh it's definitely different. And definitely not as good as the old version, but um we'll see. Uh some things that need explanation. Uh triple Livic, Livic's actually uh really important here because it's an extender. Right now if you open like tour guide and one extender, you get Beatrice and Berdish. So yeah, um, Livic counts as both a BA and an extender. Uh, these are, I place like eight extenders. Uh, and then for disruption, there's not that much um, space for it because um, it is a combo deck after all uh, that tries to OTK. It's just a delayed OTK. <laughs> and for the side deck, um, I play very generic cards because uh yeah I, I didn't know what to put in I, obviously you know for striker i'll put in kaiju's for uh, also guys i put it reboot i just wanted to make a quick uh and and generic side deck this one is not very good to be honest um this is in the side deck because i don't think it's a very good card grand first because you actually set up their graveyard and stuff but going second is it's actually decent Th that was me recently and the extra deck, um, this is a proxy for Time Thief, uh, the, the Time Thief, Thief XYZ. Sadly, I'm not able to play it yet, but yeah, it's actually very good in this deck. Uh, because once you go off um, with the PKs, you actually uh, get to summon it, and then you can grind with it. Although, you usually, if you go off, you usually OTK, but if you're unable to OTK because, I don't know, whatever reason, then you can... Uh, it helps you grind. Then uh, double break sword uh, because uh, if the first one gets stopped, you, you really need to resolve break sword to get uh, an easy OTK. So yeah, that's the deck list. Um, I play against Sky Striker. Uh, this is like one of the top players in Dueling Book. I don't know if it's like top ten or top five. I don't know. So yeah, he's very good. Sadly, I'm playing you know this version. I'm not playing the Time Thief yet, but oh well. Um, I win the die roll, and I'm choosing to go first, just in case, you know, I'm, again, I, I'm I'm playing it safe, so to speak. And, yep, uh, this deck, this hand is already uh, Beatrice plus Verdish, uh, due to the basic uh, Rhino into Underclock Beatrice, and then a Dark Standard to go into Verdish. Uh, so, yeah, I just do the standard stuff. And he actually ashes my Rhino, uh, which is a mistake. You should always ash Graph, just in case. Um, I actually did not Alich. You can usually chain block Rhino with Alich or Shailene too. But it's better to not, in this case, it's better to not chain block Rhino. So that, you know, if they have Ash, they might use it on the Rhino. Um, if it were a Graph, I would definitely chain block it. Um, anyways, uh, this hand is actually with two extenders. I'm able to go for the Verdish play anyways. So yeah, get some draws. And yeah, I'm just gonna f fast forward to this. Anyways, I, I done the cloak because um, I do not, uh, I already had uh, boots in the graveyard. I do not banish cloak here because, um, yeah, I guess it's unnecessary to banish it and, and search for another one, search for boots. And yeah, that's uh, that's the turn. Uh, this is this sets up an OTK. If they're unable to kill me or get so much advantage that they they're, they snowball me, I, I will OTK them next turn. Like, it doesn't matter if Radish dies because I just revive him with the fog blades. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm in a really good spot. This is sort of what the deck wants to do. I do not have Beatrice, but you know, you can't have everything, right? Um, yep, th I'm playing against Striker, so uh, you know, it's good that I'm playing against uh, a very uh, normal deck. He 
gets a car from area zero and he hard draws engage uh, with three spells that he can put in grave so he gets kind of lucky there but I all but but I, I did hard draw the the twin twisters so you know uh, it's it's kind of he gets lucky but I also get lucky you know it's it's sort of in the middle I guess it's a fair fair match is is, is what I want to say um, yeah this is very basic stuff really nothing to come in here and yeah of course you wanna fog blade the Kalari so he doesn't keep uh, punishing you see he, he keeps sending and keep searching for for ways to stop your OTK sadly he also had ego boosters oh man this guy uh, he had everything and yeah anyways uh, results yep everything and ends on Shizuku. Now, this is a. I made a really big mistake here because when he summoned Shizuku, um, I should have used Fog Blade on Bardish before he resolved the Shizuku effect. He has already used Multi Roll this turn, the Multi Roll effect, so now he has prior. So, since he has Chirp Player priority, he can uh, use Shark Cannon, and I cannot change the Fog Blade. So. Yeah, a bit of a misplay by me, um, but yeah, I'm not used to the PK cards that much. Uh, I guess I should have seen this coming. Yeah, I'm, at least it won't happen to me again. So yeah, um, anyways, it, yeah, this resolves, and I get the Twin Twisters, and yep, that's pretty much it. Sadly, uh, because of the Bardish thing, now I'm not able to OTK him. Oh well, um, I... Draw, get tour guide. Uh, I don't mind drawing the seer because I do run three Livix. Um, and right now I realize that I am not able to OTK, or at least I don't think I can OTK due to the Verdish uh, going away. Uh, he sets up my graveyard really well with the uh, PKs, and and yeah. Uh, so I decided to go for the for the Burlo to steal Shizuku and you know make him just go into top deck. Now, sadly, the best blade right here would have been to use the the Dragon Link 3 that stops Ray from coming back. Sadly, I do not have this card in the side deck. I have, in the extra deck, I have Cerberus. So I'm definitely gonna be cutting Cerberus for that. Uh, anyways, yeah. Basic stuff. Dante, no 3, some Olivic. Go into servers because I don't really use servers for anything in this deck. <laughs> yeah. Summon Seer. Um, summon this guy. Usually I use this guy to search uh, for uh, Brigandine, but since I have two traps in the graveyard, you know, I'm forced to do this. Summon Borload. Seer will revive uh, Dante. And I get a Beatrice and Borload, which is pretty good. I The Borload gets the Shizuku. And that's pretty much it, yeah. Attack for 4,000, and if he's not able to come back uh, next turn, I pretty much win. Um, he does top deck, I think, well, he has two draws due to the multiple fusion, and he does top deck, um, what's his face, um, the, um, what, what, what did he, what did he top deck? Can't remember right now, oh yeah, um, with the wanker. Now, I thought he was gonna use it on Borloid Dragon, because Borloid can then get Shizuku. Um, I, I would obviously far fun my own Beatrice here, yeah. Uh, oh, no, actually, yeah. Because then Borloid would get Shizuku, and, and, and Shizuku gets... Like, he could actually have done better if I had if he had taken Borloid. But he chose to take the Shizuku for some reason, so yeah. Then Kagari, I mean, he's the one that's like top ten. So I'm, I'm not. It's not like I'm questioning him. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. I guess I am questioning him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, he does get to go off due to the engage that he got from Kagari, but he's really not able to, you know, get rid of my things. So he decides to. Uh, put up as, as much put up as much defenses as possible, which is a 
pretty good strategy if you just don't want to die. Um, forces me to use uh, Borrow Load Effect. And this way he gets back the the ray, which is, is this is very good because he can dodge effects. Like if I try to like break or whatever, try to uh, kill it, he can then dodge it. Like it, it's really hard to get rid of ray outside of the battle phase. And uh, yeah, he actually gets back the that one. And this is pr this this is pretty much game for me. Uh, thanks to the amount of BAs that I run, because it, it I think this deck is pretty much in a better version of the deck. I run way too many BAs. But yeah, thanks to that, uh, I am running Call Cap, so I get rid of that very easily. And this is pretty much game, yeah. Um, he actually, this is, since this is, wait, this is main phase two? Uh, oh yeah, no, he used, yeah, aim phase, uh, ray effect, yeah. He's still able to put up some defenses, which is actually really great. This shows that he's a good player, because even in the face of adversity, he's still thinking, uh, you know, what can he do? You know, usually I would just have giving up at this point, so it's pretty good. But yeah, um, this is a pretty easy OTK, to be honest. Uh, I'm not even going to comment on it, I guess. Yeah. I just need to put up some damage, and yeah, that's it. Anyways, game two. For game two, I side in the evenly match in place of the Ash Blossoms, because uh, I know I'm going second, or at least I suspect that I'm going second. Sadly, no Kaijus. With Kaijus, this would have been a lot easier, but uh, I wanted to make this generically bad side deck. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally changing that after this game, guys. Uh, and yep, he opens Engage again. This time, at least, he doesn't open three other spells that he can send to the graveyard. Side blocker calls Dante, and yeah, Multirol is later gonna take care of the side blocker side. And now I'm pretty much losing this game. You know, I have no Kaijus. He open engaged. Uh, he opens side blocker into Dante. I don't think I have much of a chance this game. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, standard stuff. He actually doesn't overextend at all. He has. Uh, he uses the engage that he had he has he got from Kagari uh, with uh, to draw one and Yeah, and since he did, didn't overextend and he has an engage in hand in fact I think no no he only has one engage in hand the other one is set right now I'm in a really bad position. I cannot advance my game state uh, with the Dante. I can only do Bardish But I need to get rid of this cards now if I go for the this is uh, what I thought. If I go for the British play, I need to get rid of these two. Um, so I would simply like this card, I don't know, Suchinoko, and then go for the Tour Guide, and that would be three darks, get the British, and try to get going. But then that would leave Evilly Match dead, or at least somewhat close to dead. And at that point, I just think that it's better to Evilly um, and and then Bartish on May Phase 2. Sadly, I miscalculate because Evenly puts a trap in my graveyard. This is very bad. Usually with uh, Boots, you can send, uh, you can search, um, what's his face? Brigandine? And then Brigandine, uh, yeah, it's it's a really good dark extender to go into Bartish. Sadly, not the case. I put a trap in my graveyard. Uh, I'm locked out of options and like, I know that uh, if he if he didn't choose Widow Anchor, uh, I could have gone into British, but he obviously chose Widow Anchor to keep. Uh, so yeah, I waste the Widow Anchor on him, and at this point, I, I'm pre I've pretty much lost the game. Kind of, I, I haven't a little bit of an option if he doesn't like draw the nuts with engages, but um, I'm in a really bad position. I have not started my engine yet due to the side blocker and due to my mistake of putting a trap in my graveyard. And he's already started his engine ages ago, so yeah. Luckily enough, um, he's still not overextending, so I, I can still go into my engine and and try to see what I get. Yep, I get um I do the do the two twisters on the face down so I don't get interrupted. Sadly, uh, he actually gets rid of the Shushinoko with the uh, Shark Cannon. Oh man, I'm in a seriously bad spot right now. Oh man. 
I did not expect that shark cannon, and I don't think he, I knew he had a shark cannon, right? He, he did not add it to his hand, sent, sent, added? Oh, maybe he did, yeah. If I, if he did, I didn't notice it. Oh man, I'm a, I'm in a seriously bad spot right now. I pretty much lost the game right here, unless I, I milled something like Graf with Dante. Sadly, I do not mill Graf or anything among those lines. So I know I pretty much lost the game. In fact, uh, I actually uh, attacked the Tsuchinoku with Dante for no reason, which actually, you know, takes off the the the, the monster in his in his in his extra monster zone. Doesn't really didn't really matter though, because then he had engage. Anyways, uh, he could like link those two and go into engage. Um, luckily, game three, uh, my side deck does not matter that much because I can still focus on the game plan. The game plan is simply go first. Try to get as much advantage as possible. Get on turn three, just OTK them. Uh, I did side in the Call by the Graves for the Ash Blossoms because I think they're more disruptive in this case scenario. Because he's obviously uh, he's possibly gonna chain Ray to like a Fog Blade or something like that. And if he does that, it's pretty much GG if I get Call if, if I get uh, Call by the Grave. Sadly, I do not draw Call by the Grave, but um, he does not have the Ash for the Tour Guide, which means that I can get both Beatrice and uh, Bardish. If not, I'll probably just go into Bardish or Beatrice, depending on, on what I mill. Anyways, uh, mill 3. Sadly, I mill the Cal Cap, which is pretty good in this matchup, but oh well. And yep, pretty standard stuff. Now, here is sort of a... I, I need to sort of make a decision, which is... Um, do I try to go into a two material or well, three material Beatrice with these two? If I do that, then I do not have a realistic way to go into Berdish unless I mill something with with Dante, with the new Dante. It's really risky and I think I can easily OTK with just a one material Beatrice. So I, I decide on that. And, and go for the Beatrice and Berdish play. Luckily, I draw the Twin Twisters, but as you'll see, he does get the, the three spells engage. So, like I said, I'm lucky, he's lucky, so it's, it's sort of an even game. Um, get the Fog Blades, yeah, standard, standard stuff. And face Karm gets my Livic. Uh, Livic, like I said, it's really important extender. I have already used the tour guide. So yeah, he opens with the three spells into the into the um, engage, which is pretty bad for me. I'm not able to stop him, nor do I wanna. He summons Ray, and then summons Sideblocker. This is pretty. We are, I do not know what he's gonna call it. So normally I just like farfight it or something along those lines. But since I really don't know what he's gonna do with it this time, because what is he, would he call Dante? Not really, right? Will he call Bardish? I can then pop blade. So it's it's pretty weird. And he actually does the correct thing. It's called pop blade, which forces one of the pop blades. Yeah, th that's an obvious thing. So yeah, I'm I, I'm forced to fog blade. Um, then he just continues to play. Like I say, the fog blades are not supposed to like completely stop your opponent. Like you see, I'm not really stopping him from playing. Uh, I just let out let most of stuff in. The fog blades are just a way to keep him from snowballing me out of control yeah he gets the uh he i obviously stopped the kagari with fog blade and now he's unfaced multi-rolling so yeah sets two with the multi-roll and passes luckily i do have the twin twisters so uh i'm gonna do that right here pop the unknown and one of the two I get the barber because I didn't know what else to take. Uh, the Kalka was out. Uh, Scarm wouldn't matter that much. Farfa could, I guess, I guess Farfa would have been great. Yeah, yeah, Farfa would have been better. I just didn't know what to take, so I decided to take Farfa, uh, Barbar. I mean, uh, yeah, Twin Twisters. 
the unknown is this one and I, I get lucky and hit the widow anchor so I know that this one is engaged if I'm not mistaken anyways this is GG I pretty much won the game unless he has like three hand traps in his hand which I don't think he does um, and that's it is what I would like to say but I actually fuck up big time uh, I yeah I with the twin with the I, I discard the seer for the Dante uh, so this way I have the, uh, at seer this turn again but even with that even with all the advantage that I've managed to get oh man <laughs> I fuck up big time uh, I'm showing you this replay because uh, I want to show I want to show that the deck the idea of the deck works even if it's not as good as the other one <sighs> and sadly yeah Phoenix so I have so much advantage that even if I didn't have the twin twisters I could probably you know still manage to get get rid of his back row um, and yeah managed to play this is I, I'm gonna fast forward to this because I don't think this is uh, something that I need to go off I, I go into the break sword uh, because break sword not only gets rid of car then gives me more materials uh, to go into the uh, boral sword in this case since I'm not running the time thief because of he's not out yet I'm able to banish uh, Ray with Rhapsody uh, facilitates the OTK but I would OTK anyways um, yeah get back the materials uh, go into the Rhapsody get rid of the Ray and get rid of like something random because I'm gonna link it away anyways some of the Suchinoko uh, the Barber will burn there's a the Farfa hmm. and go into Boral Sword now if I were any good at this game <laughs> I would simply uh, banish the Fog Blade summon Break Sword uh, and with in, you know uh, summon this Use Boral Sword Effect to attack again, and then uh, link this Reawain to Unicorn, get rid of the Kakare, and go for game. Uh, but I forget that Fog Blade does not let me attack, and I go straight into my battle phase. This tilts me so much that I make keep making bad plays after this, and it just snowballs into my loss. Like, this is the main difference between me and a good player like him. You saw him last game, uh, I, I think, no, game one, where he, every time, he, he was in a losing position, but still, he, he kept putting up walls of defense just in case he could survive for another turn. I spiral into my own loss right here so badly. Anyways, uh, I'm like, oh, well, I can get rid of the Fog Blade easily with uh, Banish, Fog Blade, summon the Dark... XYZ and Vardish will trigger. I forget that Vardish is a hard once per turn on every effect. So I I fuck up on every sense because now I've lost one main piece of interaction that this deck has. If if this deck is not able to OTK, it still has, you know, the um, the XYZ, the break sword in the graveyard. So uh that in conjunction with Vardish can pop one. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, I, I also lost a piece of interaction, now the only piece of interaction that I have is a fog blade, I don't even know how, like, I do get one more uh, mistake this game, and I don't know how to, how did I get to it, oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I at least go into unicorn to get rid of the Kagari, this way he's not able to just uh, keep, he keep his engine going, um, and I get to draw one just in case, which in this case actually matters a lot. I draw one and I get called by the grave, so I'm like, okay, two disruptions. Um, I can still win. I can still win. Yeah. Ah uh, man, <laughs> I I've never been so wrong. Next, uh, during his turn, he opens with another side blocker, and calls uh fugly. Now any decent player would be like, okay, this is easy. He only has one more play, which is token into Gagari to go off. So I'm gonna call by the grave, his side blocker, and then Fog Blade the Kagari. 
but since I'm actually, like I said, <laughs> I'm not as good as, as a good player, uh, I'm just the average player, uh, and I'm very tilted from my mistakes, I, I do not think about this. And fuck Blade the side blocker. Oh man. Whew, that is three mistakes, big ones in a row. And yeah, this spirals into, like, this really spirals into my, my loss. Yeah, this is, like, I'm not even gonna, gonna comment. Oh wow, <laughs> what a game. Uh, so yeah, uh, obviously, other than my uh, obvious mistakes and my tilting, uh, how I should have kept my head cool, what I wanted to comment is, uh, I think this this is a decent deck uh, that uh, you guys can play um, until you know we figure something out that's better. Because obviously it's really not as good as the second light version, but yeah, it's it's the best that I could come up with. So yeah, uh, just try it, uh, comment and and tell me how you did. Tell me what you would change because this deck is in really big beta. Like right right now, I I have like. 13 or 14 Burning Abyss monsters, that's a lot. I'd love to put in more extenders, more cards to interact with my opponent, maybe main deck the Call Baggers, I'd love to do, I I'd love to main deck these cards. And maybe three Farface too much? Yeah, I, I have a lot of things in my head uh, about the deck. Uh, definitely the side deck is, is, is getting a, a rehaul, but uh, yeah, just, just comment what you would do, comment on your experience on the new format. Are you playing Sekas? Are you playing like the usual OTK version, are you playing a more control version? Just let me know. And uh, yeah, definitely keep playing.